I was not expecting that line to be dropped. Nice. That was so cool. I knew it. Oh. Ooh. Welcome back, gay schools, and everyone in between to our YouTube channel, The, the Horror Bandwagon. Band Hi, my name is Sergio. And my name is Cody. And we are boys for heart analysis. Criticism. And spooky. Okay. And sometimes kooky. Entertainment. And welcome back to another Buffy the Vampire Slayer reaction. Today, we are covering season two, episodes 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. Ah, that's so crazy. We're about to finish season two. I feel like season two has been such a roller coaster ride. Yeah. It's been good. Yeah. It's been really good. Like, I feel like we've had lots of laughs, good times, but also traumatic moments. Mm -hmm. And personally, I am still mourning the loss of Jenny. Oh, absolutely. She was gone too soon. Too soon and out of nowhere, mm -hmm. honestly. I mean, maybe there were like inklings that this was gonna happen, but like, I for sure did not feel like a few episodes before the actual finale of the season. Which honestly, kudos to to the creators, to the writers for being like, yeah, we're gonna do it. Yeah. And you know what? It worked. <laughs> it worked on us. But I don't know if I'm ready to sob again. I know we've seen your comments. I know that you're saying that there's a lot more times for us to cry, but I need to recover a little bit. So hopefully these next two episodes are gonna be a good time. Yeah, let us, let's lull us into a false sense of security and then just really gut punch us with the finale. Oh yeah, the, I feel like the, the season two finale has to be a gut punch for yeah. sure. But before we get started, y'all know what to do. Make sure that you like this video, subscribe to our channel and click that notification bell so you get notified every time we post a new video. And if you wanna support the channel even more, you can go over to our Patreon at patreon.com slash the horror bandwagon where you can find full episode watch longs of every episode of Buffy we've covered so far and a bunch of other shows and movies that we featured on the channel. Or you can click the join button below to join our YouTube membership. And with all that being said, without further ado, let's get to slaying. I'm feeling this song, I'm not gonna lie. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute, I feel like I should, there's a, a song you drive to just thinking about the last oh, breakup yeah, you had. Just like one little lonely tear. Yeah. Slowly going down your cheek. Hey, I'm Ben. We had Algebra 2 together last year. I was about to say, do we know you? I remember now, it's the one with the desks and the chalkboards and pencils and stuff, right? That's the one. Like a steel trap. Uh, so. All right, Sarah Michelle Geller, you're in the flirting game. You might ask me. Oh, gosh. Oh, I, oh, hey, hey, no, don't, don't worry. No, about no, I know. You see, it's very bad timing, but also weird that, like, hey, do you want to ask me? Yeah. Remember, we had one class together. I sat on the entire opposite side of the room. We never interacted. Don't you remember me? But give him props for trying, for shooting a shot. Wait, but I actually really like this song. Hold on. In fact, you've kind of been all work and no play Buffy. I play. I have big fun. It's good. Willow's checking in, making mm -hmm. sure she's aware. Love isn't always like that. Love can be nice. Okay, that's not fair because Willow is happy right now. <laughs> person doesn't just wake up one day and stop loving somebody. <gasps> Love is forever. Dude. Okay, okay, we escalated things way too fast. Let's think about this. Mm, mm, mm. I wonder if you can like, like uh, work the pole on this. Oh, you, you know? totally could. Flex my, my leg up to the pole and then hump it. Oh my God. <laughs> hey, with you. Hey! Oh my God. Don't walk away from me, bitch! Oh! Okay, rude. What happened? What happened? You just went OJ on your girlfriend. Oh, this is nuts. I, I... Topical for this year. I don't even know where I got it. I don't see any gun. What? So the gun is gone. Interesting. 
Sunnydale High do without you around to incite mayhem, chaos, and disorder? Oh, Mr. Snyder, how we have missed you. Uh, he's, he's been, been gone, gone for like, what, six episodes, I think? At least. Mr. Snyder, Billy Crandall chained himself to the snack machine again. Pathetic little no-life vegan. Oh, Snyder! Also love that. I mean, Buffy was there, and it's very weird that she's everywhere. Ghosts. Fucking ghosts. We're going to find out that this school is haunted by the Sadie Hawkins, after whom the dance is <gasps> named, who was horribly murdered by the very person that she invited to her dance. The original Sadie Hawkins? Giles! I made them laugh. Did you hear? I did the joke thing. This is so oh. precious. She told me it was a rose quartz, and it has healing powers. I thought she'd want you to have it. Oh, don't twist the knife deeper into my heart. Does she have to attend class anymore? Or are they just like, you're a teacher now? I guess she is a teacher now. 1929 stock market crash. Don't forget your assignments are due on Friday class. We have teleported back in time. I like it very much. It's honest. <gasps> oh. Mm, that's not right. <laughs> Collective bargaining. <laughs> Don't walk away from me, bitch. Uh-oh. The pieces are being put together. I'm doing the math. Don't let me. Oh! oh! No! No! What in the Beetlejuice? That looks like a dead body arm, right? Yes. Okay. I'll have you know I was just accosted by some kind of um, locker monster. Loch Ness Monster? Locker. <laughs> he was like, wait a minute, Loch Ness Monster? Let me get into this. Really accurate definition of a poltergeist. I define something accurately. Guess I'm done with the book learning. All right, take the wind, Xander. Okay to walk here, George? It is George, right? Oh, yes, ma'am. You go ahead. Thanks. You have a nice evening. You too. Drive safe. Don't slip. What other people think? No. I just want you to be able to have some kind of a normal life. We can never have that, don't you see? Oh, my God. Okay. You don't care anymore? Is that it? It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what I feel. Then tell me you don't love me. This is the exact this same the thing exact that same from the beginning. A person doesn't just wake up one day and stop loving somebody. Oh. Love is for. And what if he actually uses it? Does it kill them? Because if it's not real, does it actually kill them? I'm going to go with yes. Oh, shit. Damn, we knew this teacher for two seconds. What's going on? You just shot a woman. Oh, poor Jenner George. Sunlight to kill us. If you don't like it, Spike, hit the stairs and go. Take a stand, man. Mm, well, our old place. All right. How many not working legs jokes can you make in one sentence? I just love to see you smile, buddy. Yeah. You're a giver. Spike is done. Mm hmm. Fill me in then, because I've read the book, seen the movie, and I'm still fuzzy about what's going on. It's Jenny. Oh, no. Oh, this is so sad. I was not expecting this turn of events. He just wants it to be her. Yeah. Challenge me uh, when you feel it's appropriate. You should never be cowed by authority. Except, of course, in this instance, when I'm clearly right and you were clearly wrong. No. Oh, we need, we need therapy. I guess we need better help. Just a little more fallout from my love life. Let me do a cross check on other shootings at the school. Yeah, we need some alternate ghost theories. Okay, I like it. Hawkins dance. The rumor was they were having an affair and she tried to break it off. After he killed her, he went into the music room and shot himself. Oh my God. Yeah, that definitely sounds like the ghost and also sounds very dark. Her and this guy. James Stanley? He's the one, he did it. 
Your dreams are getting wicked accurate, Buff. Yeah, these, these dreams are a blessing and a curse. Before some other innocent guy goes and kills some poor nice girl and then blows his brains out all over the music room wall. Okay. Who's hungry? <laughs> At the one case where Sanders jokes might actually come in handy here. Mm -hmm. Let's ease the tension a little bit, you know? <laughs> what? <laughs> Do we have another creature doing this? Or is this the ghost? Cordelia just got bit on the face. Damn. This is some apocalypse shit. Yeah, we're gonna have locusts come in now. Why didn't it just kill me? Schoolboy pranks? Never sell. This is the guy from that one episode. We're on a hell now. He Sweet said man. it! Oh, damn, that's crazy. Perhaps you'd like to take that up with the mayor. I'll handle it. I'll handle it. So he knows about the Hellmouth, he and he still hell blames mouth. Buffy. Exorcism. Are you crazy? I saw that movie. Even the priest died. What's the deal? <laughs> Spoiler alert, Cordelia. The bad spirit and keep it from doing any more harm. Well, I'll take the hot spot. If there's trouble, that's where it'll be. Do we know what ignited this, or just it just started? I think it just started. Okay. I'll wind it out to... Hell mouth shit. It smells like grandpa breath. Sorry, I didn't have a lot of time. I had to use sulfur. Stinky, but effective. Okay, let's do this. I'll put it on me, girl. If I'm gonna do this, I, I need the protection. Angry spirit. Okay, we didn't even have time to like go to our places. I was gonna say I'm so here for Willow. Just like showing up. Yeah. Not saying she didn't show up before. I want to be clear. I just love this new role for her. <laughs> it's opening. Incoming. I love when she does this. What gate, Pat? What yeah, what do you see, girl? Dancing with death. Big deal. He won't do anything. I'm an angel. He likes to talk, but he's not much for action. Oh, shit. Did you watch the last episode? He's riling him up a little bit. What? With you being special needs, boy, I figure I should stick close to home. You and Drew can always use another pair of hands. Girl, Spike, you know what? Roll, him, roll over him. Hit him with your car. It is interesting to have the show turn to, like, Team Spike. Mm hmm It's my scapula. Ah. Did you use sulfur? Yeah. That's clever. I will, uh... Oh! <laughs> Oh no. Well, at least it's not poisonous, right? And everybody knows having a scar on your face makes you ugly and unlovable. Oh my god. That's a joke, to be clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit, there they are. Kind of is a little scary to see them there, you know? To see what happened and how it ended. <gasps> oh my god! That was so cool. Oh. Yes, yeah, 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 Jazz, help out. Oh my God. Did she, did she take her scapulas off? So sad. Yeah. Oh my God. I love that design. I don't know why, but I just love it. Giles, Jenny could never be this mean. Wait, wait, no. Wait, that was so nice. I shall confront and expel all evil. I shall totally confront and expel. <laughs> yes, Courtney doing it right. Oh my God. Is that Locust? It's some sort of bug. Holy shit! Might just be like flies or bees. I'd say school's out for good. Oh my god! That's nuts. It's Newman over and over and over again, and forgiveness is impossible. Finn, he doesn't deserve it. Oh man. 
No matter why he did what he did, and no matter if he knows now that it was wrong and selfish and stupid, it is just something he's gonna have to live with. Damn. I mean, I, I definitely see what Buffy is saying. Mm -hmm. He did something awful. And maybe I need to learn, so teach me show well, but, but this is also i think she's like blaming herself a little bit too because well because before she said like another thing that happened because of my relationship yeah. she can't forgive herself because she thinks it's her fault that angel lost killed. his soul and killed and killed jenny jenny oh god giles she went back I like that that's Willow's first instinct, so I'm glad that she's she's on it. But why? James needs her to reenact everything that happened on the night that he, he killed Miss Newman. He, he... he needs a Miss Newman. So Buffy should be safe until we find a way to get her out. In theory, yeah. In theory. <laughs> I feel like they're going to find a way. Fun fact about wasps. They have no taste for the undead. Of course! This thing would do me any- Oh my god. Oh, he can possess Angel. You can't make me disappear just because you say it's over. Actually, I can. Wait, this is hard hitting hard right now. In a normal life, we can never have that, don't you see? Don't give a damn about a normal life. Oh my god. I'm going crazy not seeing you. Did it kind of bring back our Angel? anymore is that it it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what i feel then tell me you don't love me say it <gasps> it's switched oh if i can't be with you oh my god don't walk away from me bitch <laughs> sorry sorry that got me that got he me. does deserve it he does deserve it don't talk to me like I'm some stupid. <gasps> well, he can't die from a gunshot, right? It needs to be a stake to the heart. But maybe this is how the ghost resolves because he gets a different ending. Oh my God. Grace, don't do this. An accident. It wasn't your fault. Oh, because Angel can't die, so she's still there. I'm so conflicted right now. Angel. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Do you think in that moment he actually like felt something? I think so. I feel it. I feel it. And then he was like, whoa, 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 whoa. James picked me. I guess, I guess I was the one he could relate to. He knew. He absolutely knew. I don't want to let up. They say when you've drawn blood, you've exfoliated. What do you know about us? I'm the one who was freaking. <laughs> Spike is loving this. I need a real vile kill before I up to wipe this crap out of my system. We'll find you a nice toddler. Drew is just not stop vicious. Sorry. Try to have fun without me. I like one spike to just roll up to Buffy, no pun intended, sorry, and and be like, hey, I need your hair out. We're gonna kill this guy. Oh he's been able to walk this whole time? Sooner than you think. Okay. This is good though. I like this because it kind of gives a little bit of an obstacle for Drusilla and Angel. Because they're like, no, no, no. It's not gonna be that easy. Mm -hmm. We also have Spike here. All right, guys, so that was our reaction to Buffy the Vampire Slayer season two, episode 19. I only have eyes for you. What are your thoughts? This was a really bittersweet episode. Yeah. It made me really sad to see, you know, I just everything that went down. I, I it almost makes me wonder if like Buffy being in this state that she's in, like stirred up this spirit in a sense. Oh, maybe like, actually. Especially like after the death 
of Miss Calendar, mm -hmm. I can definitely see that. And it just like that ending where she and Angel kissed and when they both like came to and yeah. she seemed so hopeful like she had well, her, her person back. Her uh her delivery of like Angel just being so hopeful like he was back. And listen, we've all been in 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 up and go relationships. Mm -hmm. We all get vulnerable and weak and go back with them for like maybe one night. Like this is what it felt like. Like I just saw them and then right after it's like, no, they haven't changed. They're still they're still evil. But I don't know. Maybe I'm completely wrong on this, but it did seem like a little bit there was like a hesitation with Angel yeah. where he was like looking at her and it was like, no, nah! like what yeah this is definitely a like thou dost protest too much yeah sort of moment because he i i agree with you i think he definitely was feeling something because that's why he needs to go and be like i just need to kill something violently and horribly to like get this off of me which means he was feeling something yeah but i really really enjoyed i mean i personally did not see the connection that angel and buffy would end up portraying those those two roles but i think it's so smart mm -hmm. to do that um and kind of be able to connect those dots for buffy and for angel and have them together again for a little bit yeah um which was really nice and i like that the creators did that um the whole premise i thought was really cool i like the look of the 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 boyfriend that was just like looked like a zombie creature thing. Mm -hmm. I liked that everything was just going havoc, which I think like is to the poltergeist kind of thing, right? Yeah. That was that, that was just like adding different evil shit that is going on in the school. Uh, we also got the confirmation that Snyder knows about the Hellmouth. Yeah. So things are heating up. Think like people are in the know. Um, I want to say that Snyder maybe. I don't know because the cop was like you were supposed to do this or something, something which means the town also knows like the people in power know about the hellmouth and we but don't... i think it has nothing to do with the slayer stuff because otherwise giles would have known and he won't be as hard on buffy that's true but i do definitely think that snyder is at least on to buffy like he knows there's something more about her yeah even if he doesn't know like that she's well the we also don't really know if he's evil or not yeah we don't know what what side he's on uh but it definitely seems like it's anti hellmouth mm -hmm. or pro keeping it hush hush yeah all right y'all we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next episode in every generation there is a chosen oh, one I missed this. she alone will Those stand states, against the vampires players, the demons and, demons, the force and forces of, of my ass all I'm saying is, it's a stupid idea to have a victory party at the beach. It's officially nippy. So say my nips. I think it's festive. I always used to say, it's nipply. It's nipply. When I was younger, and people were like, it's nippy. And I'm like, oh, whoops. Beautiful. Who's calling us beautiful? Hello, sir. I'm going to hang out with Buffy Summers. Good to know her. Hey, pause that tape for a Wait, second. Hey, no pressure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's uh, let's park it, okay, my dude. Team, hey, somebody time him. <laughs> hey. The guy gets hurt all the time. Whatever. Hey, let's let's get you a no, towel. No, I don't mind your own business. I can handle this without your help. You are doing a great job, buddy. Is that the Hell's Kitchen sound effect? I think it was. Ah, oh, dude, what is that foulness? Hey, Don! What is that foulness? I'm loving the turtleneck, though. What the fuck just happened? What are these sound effects? What in the Slovene is going on? Ooh, what the fuck? Oh my god! Do I have like a creature from the from the Sunnydale Lagoon? That's crazy. 
Okay. Good pie charts, everyone. Good. Yo, we really need to hire a new teacher. Will needs to be a student. <laughs> Looking a lot like solitaire. With naked ladies on the cards. What's your point? Willow, get his ass. A team player wants everyone on the team to succeed. Wants everyone to pass. Oh, well, yeah, sure. You know what's being said. When this school is on the brink of winning its first state championship in 15 years, you slap a crucial member of that team with a failing mark that would force his removal. I knew uh, this was going here. Ethics. Also, she's a student. Yeah. <laughs> And I think we'll find a grade more fitting to an athlete of Gage's stature. Perhaps something in a D. And I would say, and what if I don't? Yeah. I hope she's at least getting paid for this. I know, or some extra credit. They're called winners. That's the way the world works. And what about that nutty all men are created equal thing? Propaganda spouted out by the ugly and less deserving. <laughs> <laughs> you know what really grates my cheese? That Buffy's not here to share my moral outrage about swim team perks. She's too busy being one. I actually love that line. You know what really grates my cheese? I'm comfy. I'm so comfy I'm nodding off, actually, which is why. Are you wearing a bra? Uh. Such a weird transition. I'm not going to hurt you. Oh, it's not me I I'm worried about. I his spine out, Buffy. You like it rough. <laughs> oh! Yeah. Yeah, don't fuck with Buffy. I mean, first she leads me on, then she goes schizo on me. Oh, come on. I mean, look at the way she dresses. <gasps> oh my God, he's a fucking pig. None of your concern. You better hope that boy's nose heals before the meet this Friday. Walker, I want you to hit the steam room uh, as soon as you- Guess the swimming team is all they have. Try to dress more appropriately from now on. This isn't a dance club. All right, let me, let me add him. It's okay. It's hold okay. My, hold my earrings. <laughs> this was no boating accident. So something ripped him open and ate out his insides? Like an Oreo cookie. Well, now I can't eat an Oreo cookie the same way. It is literally how you eat Oreo cookies. Me in particular or yes, Oreos in, in general? Particular. Don't out me out like open that. Open them. You eat the inside. No, I used to eat them with milk. And now I do that. <laughs> yeah, the skin's the best part. Any demons with high cholesterol? <laughs> you're gonna think about that later, mister. And you're gonna laugh. <laughs> it was funny, I gotta admit. I'm always amazed at how huge their locker room is. Yeah. I don't even know if my high school had a steam room. I don't think it did. Mine definitely did not. Need beverage. Oh. Hey, watch it. Oh, forgive me, your swim team lead. Wait, is he like taller than Xander? I always thought Xander was tall, so he must be super tall. Orange gray. Ah! This is normal. Okay. Yeah, you got it. You got it. Hold it. Get, hold it together. <laughs> okay, we got like a Loch Ness monster. Is that what you saw, Xander? Yeah. I think so. Pretty much. Well, it's kind of like a Power Rangers villain. I died the other day on the beach, remember? He did say he could take care of things himself. Oh, yeah. It's a good call. You should question him. I'll crack him like an egg. <laughs> there you go. You gotta, you, you gotta bully the nerd. <laughs> Play it cool, Buffy. Yeah, don't stare too long. And maybe hold your magazine upright. I am pretty sure this is the guy who played um, Chris Redfield in the recent Resident Evil movie that we saw. It's that guy. Hmm. I'm pretty sure. The more you know. So, you delved into the black arts and conjured up a hell beast <laughs> from the ocean's depths? She's enjoying it a little too much. I snuck in yesterday and peed in the pool. <laughs> you know what? Go, Jonathan. Fuck with the pool. That other one. But I know they'd want their friends to go on and win that state championship. It's time to think. Why does Snyder care so much? I know. 
I guess he just really likes sports. He likes water sports. Well, um, it's a little embarrassing, you see. I'm a swim groupie. Uh huh. Your swim groupie. Okay. I thought you were a lot better at hiding and being mystique. She's a pool head. Cam told me about your games. Go find someone else to harass. Yo, everyone on the swim team is a dick. Mm -hmm. Just so happens, I'm recruiting. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Yo, kick your ass. Oh! All right. He did not taste human blood. Nope. These swim team people are those monsters wearing skin suits. Uh, but the thing is, they don't know. Well, it could be that. I don't know. <laughs> no, you're stumped. Maybe. No, let's see what happens. <laughs> Did your high school have a pool? No. Mine did not. I was on swim team, though, for a couple of years. I remember. Not that I was there, but his mom told me. That girl's is my kind of. Xander? <laughs> Xander? <laughs> All right, Xander fans, this is your moment. Come on. Yeah, I figure I could keep an eye engaged on the others when Buffy can't. When you're nude? I meant to say changing. Eris. I'm dating a swimmer from the Sunnydale swim team. You can die happy. <laughs> She's like, oh my God, is it hot in here? Don't you guys get claustrophobic in here? I mean, what's the deal? You perspire a lot. Xander would be the guy that talks in the same it's room. It's like, no, we need to keep to ourselves. You gotta love this undercover deal. 20 minutes in a hot room with a bunch of sweaty guys. Where's Gage? I can just smell the chlorine. Like, I could just, I know that smell. It makes me miss it. Oh. I love swimming. Uh, he is. He's like a mermaid. He just dives and just goes through it. It's kind of amazing. I am not. I'm afraid of water, and I cannot swim, so he needs to save me if I ever go into the water. And I will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Good, 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 good. Let's see what's happening. Buffy's like just waiting for an excuse to run into the locker room. <laughs> oh! I knew it! All right, this is cool! Oh, shit. Okay, and they're slimy. Uh huh. I don't know. I kind of like the effects. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Alright, that was kind of silly. <laughs> Your mind, you start to wonder. You never asked any of the boys if they were taking anything. Maybe I was afraid to. Oh, no. So it's a cult of sea monsters that were taking some sort of weird drug you could almost call them sea men sea men mm -hmm. she must have known if steroids are that dangerous why would they do that to themselves they needed to win mm. yeah have you heard principal snyder no powders pills syringe i'm looking around guy what about you giles ordered up the tranquilizer gun we're going fishing yay go fish that's the name of this episode it's sergio's Favorite locale. The Where? Sewer. I hate the sewer. That's mostly because Resident Evil 2 and 3, I think the games take place mostly in sewers. Oh, there, there they are. How many are there now? Three? Uh, at least three, yeah. Right up. Nothing like it, huh? Breakfast of state champions. You betcha. That actor looked familiar. The steroids, where are they? <sighs> Aromatherapy. It's in the steam. It's the sauna. 
Oh shit, is Xander gonna turn into one? Oh fuck. You've already lost three. Lost? They're not lost. <gasps> I knew it was the coach. Fuck you, man. But there's still a team. And the team's gotta eat. Oh my god. I would honestly feel grossed out if I had to be, even if just like a set piece of that looked like a sewer. You know that it's clean water and it's just like dying. It just like it just makes it believe like you're in the sewer. Started to be dating the creature from the blue lagoon. <laughs> Black lagoon. <laughs> the creature from the blue lagoon was Brooke Courtney. Shields. And thank you so much for your support. I get he, he he's freaking out. I get it. I would be too. Like what's gonna happen to me? Sort of. Why? What kind of question is that? For the win. FTW. I mean, I would I would get if it's like the Olympic team, but this is Sunnydale High School. Sir. Which you obviously skipped. Get in the hole. In. Now. In the, 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 the hold up. Clip that. Get in the hole. I care about my boys. But I do. Well, they've already had their dinner. Boys have other needs. That's not cool. What the fuck? I was not expecting that line to be dropped. Wait here, but feel free to come in if you hear me scream. <laughs> I don't like Cordelia being alone right now. Me neither. It's me, Cordelia. I know you can't answer me, but God, this is all my fault. Oh. I still care about you, no matter what you look like. Oh. And, and we can still date. Really? She does have a heart. She really loves him. Mm -hmm. Whether that means little bath toys or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's not me. <laughs> oh my god. She was gonna get him a rubber ducky. Yeah, you should just pretend that, that that was you. Where's Buffy? She hasn't come back yet. Yeah, oh yeah, we're gonna need we're gonna need help. I don't know how we're gonna defeat these things. By punching and maybe kicking. they maybe we can spread salt on them or something. I don't know. They shrivel up. Or like jump up and then electrocute the water when you're not in Oh it. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Nice. Good job, Xander, Xander. has been practicing. Stop the nerve, your hands! Oh, there we go. Nice. All right, we got it. I can only imagine how it smells down there. Well, I mean, I guess she doesn't want to kill anybody. What are they going to do to him? Because he said they weren't hungry. So. Those boys really love their coach. Ah! Oh my God. That never stops with you, does it? Child seems pretty confident that the treatments are going to work. Okay, so perfect. Solved. I don't think we'll be seeing them anymore. Oh. Where do you think they'll go? Yeah. Home. Where the fuck is home? Out in the ocean? Out in the Hellmouth ocean. This is kind of cute. Yeah, they don't want to, I mean, they're, aren't they gonna get hungry at some point? Well, there's lots of fish in the sea. I don't know, they seem to be eating humans. That was a very weird episode. I gotta admit. <laughs> All right, guys, so that was our reaction to season two, episode 20, Go Fish. What are your thoughts? This felt like a good breather <laughs> yeah. before the finale. 
I think so. So this one kind of felt like we're getting ready for the finale. So let's just have you have this little topic, little plot line, little, yeah. little monster that we're gonna deal with. And then we're getting to the real shit, you know? Even though we did see Angel here. We did. And I thought it was such a cool plot point when Angel bites the guy's neck and then he's like, yeah, Oh yeah, that's gross. really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I really like that they still put in Angel here and also made us realize that like, oh, this these there's something wrong with them. Mm -hmm. Um, which added, I think, to the plot. I liked the the designs of when when they were like ripping out like that was kind of gory which i really enjoyed i like the the skin practical effects anything with practical effects i really like and with a show like a tv show that has a budget and i'm sure they had more of a budget this season i think they spent it really well like yeah. i thought it looked great i it, it could have looked worse and i really feel like with the monster of the week episodes even in those there is something good yeah you know like, yeah, it's not part of like the really juicy stuff happening in the season, but I thought there were aspects of it that were really good. And for me, it's the practical effects. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the monster's design was pretty cool. Yeah. And the, the costumes looked really good. I, I think so too. I will say that them acting kind of was a little silly. And that's why it reminded me of a Power Rangers villain because mm -hmm. they were just like, Ugh, and they just like get kicked and hurt. I, I thought that was funny. I thought it added to the campiness of it. Overall, I just loved hanging out with the gang and having them figure this out. It's it's just great. Also, another episode where Oz is not present, mm -hmm. um, which is, I guess he must be stuck in a cage somewhere. Like, wait a minute, I'm fine. I need to get rescued. But guys, you guys know what to do. Comment down below. Let us know what you thought of this episode. Mm -hmm. As usual, do your very, very best to keep it spoiler free in the comments. As usual, we just want to unravel everything as the season goes along. Yeah. That goes for the rest of the show. So if you can do that, we'd so appreciate it. As usual, we want to give a shout out to our Patreon members. Thank you so much to each and every single one of you. If you want to be part of the Patreon bandwagon, go over to patreon.com slash the hard bandwagon. Benefits start at $3 and up. And if you want to join our YouTube membership and unlock exclusive emotes and members only lives and watch alongs, you can click the join button below. Big thank you to those YouTube members and those who are YouTube members and Patreon members. You guys are freaking awesome. But until next time, we have been your source for heart analysis, criticism, and spooky, okay? and sometimes kooky entertainment. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye.